So what is going on everybody? How is everyone doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we have a very large toy haul and unboxing video for you so let's get into it right away and start unboxing these figures. But I did get one Blu-ray in the mail which I've been meaning to get and it is the One Piece Film Gold Blu-ray which was a pretty good movie. It's not my favorite One Piece movie. My favorite One Piece movie is the uh, Film Z but this one was actually really good, especially the ending. I love the end fight in this movie. If you never saw it, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a One Piece fan. So that is the only Blu-ray I've gotten recently. I do need to get uh, Logan, and I still need to get Rogue One. I haven't bought that yet, and I can't wait to get uh, John Wick 2. I love the first one, but haven't seen the second one yet, and I think it releases uh, next Tuesday. So enough about the movies. Let's get into this unboxing here. And this little box I got from... AgelessGeeks.com. So if you would like to get your figures and collectibles there, don't forget to head over to Ageless Geeks. And he wanted me to let you guys know that he is now getting the Mezco 112 figures directly from Mezco. So I think from the Wolverine figure, from that figure to whatever else is going to be releasing after that, he will be getting directly from Mezco. So now you can pre order from his website and get all those awesome figures because. They are some pretty awesome figures, but, uh, oh, the ice cream man's coming by. I thought that was my phone ringing, but, uh, let's open this box here that I did get from Ageless Geeks, and this figure did just release. I'm not really excited for it, because I really hate his character, actually, to tell you the truth, <laughs> but needed to get the figure for my collection, and it is the web-exclusive Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones, which is my least favorite version of Anakin. Well, maybe Kid Anakin is. Actually, I liked him better as a kid because he wasn't such a whiny crybaby as he was in Attack of the Clones. And even in Revenge of the Sith, he was also. Just, I've never been a fan of that character, Darth Vader. Like, I know a lot of people love Darth Vader, but I don't know. I just never drew my attention. I always thought Darth Maul was badass. Uh, villain in Star Wars, but wow, pretty heavy actually. There's the front of the box there, since it is a web exclusive. This is how the Star Wars web exclusive figures look. So this will definitely be my next review. So that is one of the figures that I got in the mail. Oh yeah, and also forgot to mention the huge box that you see in the thumbnail. Pretty much everything in there is for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway contest. Ageless Geeks once again hooked us up with a bunch of giveaway prizes that I can give to all you guys. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of winners for that 10,000 subscriber uh, slash Ageless Geeks giveaway contest. And I also got this in the mail here. And if you ever ship a figure to somebody, do not ship it in an envelope. That's the dumbest way you could ship something. Yeah, they wrote fragile on it, but Delivery companies really don't give a crap, so, I mean, it didn't damage the figure, but it could have. So, if you ever sell something to somebody, just don't ship a figure in an envelope. It's just not a smart idea. I would never ship a figure in an envelope to anybody because it just isn't safe. And it could ruin your figure. Look at the, uh, remember when I got the, uh, what is it, Age of Heroes, the black and gold? Armor Iron Man, what that guy shipped it in. It wasn't as bad. I mean, it was worse than this. This is actually a little better. Plus, there's bubble wrap in it. But you shouldn't ship stuff like that in in uh, envelopes. But I did get another SH Figure Arts Golden Frieza because I need one for my Mint and Box collection. And the box seems to be in pretty good shape. It's not that bad. But uh, I did already review this back when he first released, so it should pop up. Let's see, right here? Yes, it should. I think it's over here. No, it'll be over here. I don't know. I keep forgetting which side. Actually, yes, it'll be this side right here. It probably already popped up. I should just shut up. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out that review, it should have popped up. And I will put it in the link in the link description. And I will put the link in the description below. Jeez, what the hell was wrong with me? All right, so the next package here I got from Ami Ami. So let's open this up and take a look at what we got in this box here. Yeah, righty. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some Dragon Ball Z model kits. And why are these open? 
these should not be open. Why did they open these? What the hell is that all about? That's weird, unless this is how they ship the androids. So I got Android 18 right here. I just don't understand why this is open. What the hell is that all about? That's really odd. Maybe they did it to make sure all the pieces were in there. But still, that's it's a little weird, if you ask me. But I will be building her and reviewing her, so got that one. And then I also got Android 17, and I will be building him, doing a speed, speed build video, and I will review him as well. So pretty cool that I got those two. And uh, like I said in the q and I'm going to continue to get these figures, build them, and speed build, uh, speed build videos, kind of like a tongue twister saying that. And then I will review them afterwards. So, got the figureized standard model kits of the Android 17 and 18. So that is pretty much everything that I've got for myself. And then, this big box here that Ageless Geeks... Oh, crap. See that? That's a humongous box. This box here from Ageless Geeks. Like I said, thank you again, uh, Alex from AgelessGeeks.com for hooking up. You guys, with these giveaway prizes, wouldn't be able to uh, give away as many prizes as I do if it wasn't for Ageless Geeks. So don't forget, if you want to buy your action figures and uh, collectibles there, head over to AgelessGeeks.com. And if you do purchase something from there, you can get yourself a 5% off discount by entering, entering in code name Daredevil. And then he also said, along with these prizes, he's going to give me, uh, let me uh, announce a few more winners for like a... $10 off or 10% discount or something like that. So I, I forgot exactly what it was, but that'll be a few other prizes as well, a discount for the Ageless Geeks uh, store. But uh, let's get into it and open up this ginormous box. I think I got two things for myself in here, but pretty much everything in here is going to be a giveaway prize. Alright, let's cut that there. Hiya! Let's see what we got. And I don't even know what the giveaway prices are, too. He just randomly sent me a bunch of stuff. Holy crap. Holy crap. Wow, you guys are going to be getting a lot of prizes. Holy shiitake. Holy shiitake. There is a lot of stuff in here. My God. All right, so one price here looks like it'll be... The Dot Tongue, I believe this is. Super Saiyan Trunks head with the ponytail. I mean, we do have it with the uh, Trunks figure that recently released, but if somebody wants to win this, that'll be one little prize right there. Maybe I'll include it with something else. All right, so we got some mini mates here. Back to the Future. Return to Hill Valley 1985 box set. We got Marty McFly. We have his dad. And then we have the two assholes on the bottom. Uh, I forgot their name. I remember Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers played him. I believe that's him. And then we have Biff Tannen. Yeah, Needles. That's his name. His name was Needles. George McFly and Marty McFly at the top. So this will be a prize right here for anybody who likes to collect mini mites. All right. So right here, I'm going to make this. I think these are different types of figures. Here comes a train, so I will have to edit this out. Is the train gone now, that son of a bitch? Alright, I think it is. I swear to God, that train comes by like every ten minutes and holds down the horn constantly. Like, why? Why? Alright, let's, let's continue on with this here. So, there's three different Shodo Dragon Balls... Z figures. These ones seem different because they're smaller compared to this one. So I think I'm going to make these two prizes. So we have the powered down version normal Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. I could make them each a separate pr prize, but I figured I'll make them each uh, uh, an entire prize right here. And then we do have a Shodo uh, Golden Frieza. And this one is bigger than those figures, as you can see. Because I was looking at them, and I'm wondering why Vegeta's smaller. These look like 3-inch figures, and I think these are the 3 uh, three quarter inch figures. So this will be one separate prize here. Golden Frieza, badass right there. 
Glad he's coming back in Dragon Ball Super after they defeated him again. And then here we have... I have no idea. Are these the medals? The medal figures by Tamashi Nations? Yeah, we have these Super Saiyan trunks right here. I believe that's what they are. So this could be another prize. Or I could give this away with that Datang Super Saiyan uh, trunks hair right there. So there's something else. And then we have... The Tamashi Nations Stage Act Combination. I don't know what number this is. I guess it's not a number. How many is it? Looks like it's just one. So this can be a prize here. So that's one other prize. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not even halfway through it yet. Holy crap, it's stuck. That's, oh, there we go. All right, so we have a Tamashi Nations uh, Buddies uh, Tamashi Buddies figure here, and it is the powered down normal Goku. This is actually pretty cool looking. So if anybody collects these, I guess you might want to enter for this one. So there's another prize there. And then we have an SH Figuarts Tiger and Bunny Lunatic. I have no idea who this character is. Never watched the anime. So this will be a prize for a lucky winner out there. I could see why his name is Lunatic, because he looks like a goddamn lunatic. <laughs> I guess that's a villain. Wow, that character looks insane. Never watched the show. Uh, let me know if it's any good, Tiger and Bunny. Because I'm starting to watch some anime since you guys told me, someone told me, well, a few of you told me about My Hero Academia, and I started watching it. And I'm only two episodes in, but I really like it so far. All right, so another prize here is a fig, uh, Revil Tech Legacy of Revil Tech Thouser. I have no idea what he's from. Is he from that show Berserk? Maybe. Kind of looks like a character from it. Is he from that show? I have no idea. Revil Tech does not tell you. But it looks pretty cool. So there's a Revil Tech prize there. All right, so we have. A uh, bunch of Marvel statues here. So we have the Avengers Marvel Now Thor, and this is a one tenth scale pre painted model kit. Oh, it's kind of like a model kit in a way. So somebody could win this here. So pretty cool if you're a Thor fan. I bet you will want to win this Thor Marvel Now Artifact statue. I think that's how you pronounce it. Well, these are pretty dusty. I guess they've been sitting around in this warehouse for a while so we got a Thor one and then same same type of statue but right here we have Hawkeye so if you're a Hawkeye fan I bet you would want to win this one and then we have two more of these statues Ooh. so we have a I don't know what mark this is it's an Iron Man of course because I said I don't know what mark it is so we have an Iron Man in his red and gold armor and then we have another Iron Man, but in the uh, Age of Heroes armor. So pretty cool, two different Iron Man statues there. So if you're Iron Man fans, I guess that is something you will want to win. Oh, and then we have uh, a couple more of these stage act combination Tamashi Nation stands. So we have a black one here, and then another clear one. So I guess... Three different people can win those, or I can make it one entire prize for all three of them. And then we also have the Walking Dead and McFarlane uh, building set. It's the Daryl Dixon with Chopper. Sounds like I'm talking about Tony Tony Chopper, right? So this can be another prize if you're... I love Walking Dead, but I never got into these. But if you are a fan of these, this will probably be a prize you would like to win. All right, and then we have another one of these metal uh, Tamashi Nations thingies. <laughs> we got Goku, Son Goku, in the power down form. So I'll make this and the trunks one prize. So that'll be one prize right there. And then I believe there's just one more prize for you guys. I don't think this is for me. I don't need it because I did order one for myself. But I did give one of these away before, and I'm when I ordered mine, I didn't realize it was from uh, China or Japan, so now I have to wait like weeks for it, but I'm really like, I really want to get it and build it, and it's the Figure Eyes uh, Dragon Ball Z Final Form Frieza, and uh, if you don't have a Frieza in your SH Figure Arts collection and can't afford one, 
I definitely recommend this as a substitute because these are actually pretty good figures. Even though they're not made of the most durable plastic, this is definitely a good substitute if you can't spend $200 on the SH Figure Arts Final Form Freezer. So that is the last of the prizes, and we have a ton of stuff to give away for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway contest. But what I did get for myself is a couple more model kits. I did get the Cell Saga Gohan, the Super Saiyan version, of course. Well, he's pretty much Super Saiyan the whole time in that saga when he finally figures out how to transform into a Super Saiyan. So I got that for myself. And then I also got the Frieza with his hover pod. So I will be building all four of those model kits, the Frieza and the hover pod, the uh, Cell Saga Gohan, and then Android 17 and 18. So I'm going to do speed build videos of all four of those, and then I will review them afterwards in the following days but my next review is going to be of this crybaby and it's the uh, SH Figure Arts Attack of the Clones Anakin Skywalker so be on the lookout for that review and my model kit speed build videos along with their reviews plus I do have more uh, figures uh, coming in the mail probably this week or by the weekend or something like that but anyway guys that is my toy haul and unboxing video once again thank you Ageless Geeks for all these giveaway prizes you guys have a lot of stuff you're going to be able to win once we, once we hit that 10K mark. But also forgot, there will be two more prizes that I forgot about. So we do have the uh, Tamashii Nation's Thunder Effects. We have the yellow version in box and then the blue version in box. The blue version is brand new. He just shipped it uh, without the box because I guess the box took up more room. So it, it's brand new. It's never been used or anything like that uh, when I he, he just told me to keep these because it was uh, sent by mistake so he told me to keep them and use them for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway contest so these will also be two more prizes as well but like I said that is my video I hope you enjoyed it if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it just give it a thumbs up anyway because I'm giving away a bunch of prizes. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.